Why are you in Macon, Georgia, the U.S. Attorney General for the whole country? Well, I'm in Macon to uh, celebrate the 75th uh, anniversary of the birth of my favorite brother-in-law, Elvin Malone. He's a man I've always admired, a person I've tried to emulate. He's, uh, he's one of my role models, and that's why I'm here to help celebrate his birthday. How do you get the Attorney General of the United States of America to come down here? You know, I, I live right, I do the right things. And he, he my, my young, he's married to my youngest sister, Dr. Sharon Malone. And I, every opportunity I have to get to D.C. to spend time with them, it's just a blessing. So I'm so honored to have them come down and celebrate this with me. People that bombed 9-11 uh, and other things, where would they be tried? Uh, we're going to try them in a, the military commissions in, uh, in Guantanamo. It's not a decision that I was necessarily happy with, but I thought that given all the political opposition that we had in Congress, it was a decision we had to make in order to uh, bring these people to justice as, as quickly as we could. Who, how would the judge, who would be the judge, who would be the, uh, the other people involved? Uh, you know, who, would, who would decide the innocence or guilt? Well, there'll be a military commission that's composed of uh, military officers who will listen to the evidence and then decide on the basis of the evidence and, and the law whether they are guilty or, uh, or innocent. What have you learned since you've been Attorney General? Uh, was it what you expected? My first remembrance of an Attorney General was Robert Kennedy. Mm -hmm. And there's been several since then. Uh, did you, is it all you expected? It's probably a little more than I expected. We celebrated the 50th anniversary of Robert Kennedy swearing in as Attorney General just this past January. And the job, I think, has changed a little bit in that we do it a lot more uh, that is in the national security sphere. I'm a part of the national security team of the president, and we meet every Tuesday to talk about national security matters, and my day starts every day with a briefing on the threat stream for the last 24 hours. The uh, FBI director, he works for you? Yeah, FBI is part of the Justice Department. And, and I know he doesn't give you a hard time like J. Edgar Hoover gave Robert Kennedy. Uh, Bob Mueller is a, is a good man. He's, uh, he's unfortunately coming to the end of his tenure. He can only serve 10 years now, and so we're in the process of picking a new FBI director. And I, I wanted to say that I was, I was fortunate to be a part of the 50th anniversary for, for Robert Kennedy. And, and in fact, it was such an honor. They asked anyone from the Malone family to stand. It, he was so instrumental in getting my sister Vivian Malone in the University of Alabama. He actually challenged a Southern governor. And it was just an honor for me to be there. I really, I was really enjoyed it. Got a chance to meet, I got a chance to actually hug Elvin Kennedy. I mean, that within itself, man. Right? Historic figure. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a lot of interesting parallels. I mean, the Kennedy family is instrumental in helping a member of the Malone family uh, integrate the University of Alabama in that famous stand house in the, uh, stand in the schoolhouse door. And then I end up marrying um, Elvin's younger sister, Sharon, get to know Vivian before she died. And now I'm Robert Kennedy's successor. So there's a, there's, the world takes interesting turns. So where do you go from here? Uh, the president run again and he wins and stay on as attorney general? I don't know. That'll depend. Uh, I have to see, you know, exactly where my head is uh, come 2013. And I think maybe more importantly, where my wife decides I'm going to be uh, if, if there's a second term. I appreciate it. Do you have anything else to say? No, that's fine. I just, just wanted to say I really enjoy having my family here in Macon, and it's just an honor for the Attorney General to come down. But, I, but this is one guy I enjoy being with. Every opportunity I get, I go to D.C. I, I know mean, you knew him way before he became Attorney General. Right. I knew him I when he was met him. Yeah, I met him when he was Assistant oh, Attorney see. General. You know, but we go when he was a judge. Oh, we go back judge 20 years. What judge? I was a judge in Washington, D.C., and right. Deputy Attorney General. But he, he's, he's familiar with hanging out with famous people because of his son, Jeff Malone, one oh, of yeah. the all-time great <laughs> ball players in the NBA, and who was a star, again, in Washington, D.C., where That's I live. That's true. And I used to go see him all the time. Little did I know that at some point I was going to get to know his father and marry uh, his, his, his aunt. You've been married now how long? Uh, 21 years. 21 years? Mm-hmm. All right. Appreciate thank you very you. much. Yeah, okay. thank you all, man. Thank you. Hope this is fine. Okay. All right.